My name is Liv Warfield and it's called The Unexpected, my album. Well, I'm originally from Peoria, Illinois. Um, and it was a beautiful, beautiful hometown. Um, it's a family town and everything about my childhood I loved. Um, I was in athletics most of my life. I was a gymnast for 14 years and I ran track for the big part of my life. I thought I was going to the Olympics and then that totally changed. Um, and I moved to Portland, Oregon and I'm singing. <laughs> and I love it and it's something I've always wanted to do. It was like my compassion that was hidden away from everyone. Seven years old, I knew I wanted to be a singer, but um, I kind of grew up in a Pentecostal church home, you know. I wasn't allowed to listen to like secular music and you know, I know my dad was a DJ and I know he had reel to reels and he would kind of keep in a box and every once in a while he'd be like, listen to this. Don't tell your mom I played it for you. Um, but those kind of things, I kind of would go out and listen to some music on my own, but kind of was in the bathroom singing and didn't want anybody to hear me. And then it just, it came out. I think my discovery was a slow process. I think I went through, and I'm still going through anything that any independent artist would. You know, like I said, I started out with the hip hop groups, making my way in trying to write songs for myself and creating my own band with different band members and just kind of going through the process. My first album was Embrace Me. And I named it that because it's kind of like my first songs I'm writing and everybody's getting to hear them, you know? It, it was, it's steps. I'm still going through those steps, but it was, it's, it's still very exciting because I'm just now, I feel like I'm coming into who I really am. Um, I'm thankful that I have a lot of musicians and I also had um, also working with Prince and the New Power Generation, that kind of, um, I guess I could say Purple University that I went to, uh, really helped develop these skills. You know, I thought I was good, but being around him, I'm just like, okay, this is nothing, okay? Um, he helped me to be a better arra uh, writer, arranger, performer. So it just this whole process, this whole journey has been exciting for me. Um, sometimes it's hard to explain in words because it is a long <laughs> journey, but a really cool one. New Power Generation, NPG. Um, I've been a part of New Power Generation for five years. Of course, it's been before me, but um, it's now 11 horns. Um, me and my sisters, Elisa and Shelby, um, bass, guitar, drums, um, Cassandra, I mean, um, Goucher. I mean, there's a lot of us. It's quite a collective. Every musician is amazing in their own right. And then we have Prince, of course and his energy that we're all kind of like vibing off of. I mean, you can't help it because he's so, it's just, it's, it's, it's magnetic, it's, um, it's epic. It's, his energy is like, it's like supernova. It's a trip to be on stage. It, it, it excites me because I'm like, there's no other like him. And um, he's just showed us a lot. He showed us how to really listen to the music. He showed me how to listen to the music and to broaden my ear and, really get into rock and roll and I love it. I love when he plays guitar. You don't know what to expect. You just kind of ride. You just kind of go with what he wants to do. Buckle your seatbelt and just ride. <laughs> Why'd you tell me you were with her last a lot of the songs I've had written for a while and I think last year I was really ready to kind of like, something had been stirring up in me maybe a couple years, trying to figure out what do I want to do? I really want to do another album, but I kind of got to muster up the strength. First, I have to, you know, I reached out to Prince and I'm like, you know, I, I have a couple of concepts. And he was like, first you need to start writing, just write. And I've already had songs written, but there are a couple songs that are new on the album that I wrote. And, um, just start writing live and I started that process and I first came up with Catch Me If You Can for this album. Um, I love black exploitation movies so I love Cleopatra Jones. So in my mind I was like how do I, if I was actually writing the soundtrack to this movie what would it sound like? That was the catalyst to the unexpected like I'm gonna write it around that because I love Isaac Hayes. So when sometimes when you listen to Isaac Hayes, I would say some it took it took 10 minutes until he got to the first vocal and I wanted it to make I wanted it to sound musical. And he's like, what do you think about doing a live something live that really 
um, captures what you do on stage. And that's, sometimes it could be hard in the studio, but I'm like, you know what? No, we're gonna do that. So I recorded it in Portland, Oregon um, on analog, which I've always wanted to do. Uh, and it was the craziest, it was so fast. The experience of having us all together as a unit and just doing those songs together. We were playing these songs together. Um, three or four takes maybe. And then I asked him, well, I think I came up with the title, The Unexpected. And I said, well, I'm gonna let him know I'm naming the album The Unexpected. And he was like, do you have anything for that yet? And I'm like, uh, no, hint, no, I don't have a song. And so he wrote The Unexpected, the title track, which is incredible. And so the horns on the beginning of the album is called uh, Coat of Arms. Actually, Phil Lasseter and Roy AG, um, actually Roy wrote uh, the Coat of Arms and the fanfare that closed the album. So I wanted it to feel like a storybook. I wanted it, when you hear Welcome to the World of Liv Warfield, I wanted it to feel like, I don't want anybody to skip anything. It's an album, it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's a journey from the ups and downs of Why Do You Lie? Don't Say Much, um, your show, and then it's just a collective of sounds, R&B, rock and roll, all of my influences, like I'm influenced by Sade, so it's kind of a nice um, blend of all of those sounds, but just don't expect anything. It's gonna take you places, for sure. To have all of those musicians around you, that wall of sound around you, you can't help but to pop, move, something. You're not just gonna stand there. You can't stand there, I guarantee you can't. So. Um, and also, like I said, it's, it's a sort of a celebration for me. Yeah, I just wanted people to see that it's strong and that the music is just as strong with it. You know, um, we all have our ups and downs. Also, if you can see on the back, there's like little words, kind of like freedom, prayer, miracle, pride scream like all of those things that I was kind of going through and writing this album um, but I'm still standing in the midst of it you know um, sometimes as a independent artist things can be really really hard and can be difficult and you do want to give up sometimes and um, you just want to I don't know sometimes you can't you can break down those barrier barriers and I feel like I'm breaking through it um, so this is important to me. <laughs> when I look at that, when I look at this for myself, I look at it as, okay, you're still standing in it and you're doing what you love. And this is what I love. I'm very happy right now. And I just want that energy to kind of come across that live music is very important. And I'm just trying to preserve an energy that sometimes gets lost, that can be played on radio. And for people not to miss that quality of having live instrumentation. It can still move, it can still be played on the radio, it can still have that same push as it did back then. You could have been touching this all last night. I'm, I'm just, I'm really thankful for everyone's support. I really am, genuinely. Um, I just want my music to reach the masses as organic as possible. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I really am thankful for people who keep supporting it and also supporting those musicians out there that are trying to do the same thing. It's important. Hi, I'm Liv Warfield and you can look for me on Last FM.